What is good, everybody? Y'all must spell my IG at Cash Nasty. How LeBron spend $1.5 million on his body each year. Let me tell you guys something, bro. LeBron probably is one of the smartest people on this earth. Why? Because of one thing. He don't invest in things around him first. He invests within his body and on his body. That's the greatest investment you can do. The rest going to come. He invested, bro, if you invest within your body, y'all, you think better. You have situations better. You will come up with conclusions that you wouldn't have got if you didn't invest within yourself. You got to do it. This is why this dude, 36 years old, James Harden, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, they jump in his old man because he just knew how to spend his money wisely on himself early on. You guys know Kareem D D Jabbar. He, um, he actually helped uh, LeBron James think do yoga. I'm sure he put him on game about longevity. You know, just like eating sisso beans, man. But this is right here is LeBron James spending 1.5 million on his body each year. Let's get to it. By the end of his current deal with the Lakers, LeBron James will become the highest paid NBA player ever with more than $350 million in career earnings. Of course, LeBron is not keeping all this money under the mattress. He happens to be an extremely successful investor with stake ownership in Beats by Dre, Liverpool Football Club, and Blaze Pizza, among many other endorsements. Bro, LeBron, anything LeBron James touched, bro, just goes crazy, bro. Like, let's be real here, bro. LeBron is also known as a person who invests a lot of time and resources to keep his body in the best shape Smart. possible. In this video, we'll look how LeBron trains, That's why me every he spends day, baby. millions of dollars on physical room. fitness, and how he could end up as the most durable athlete ever. Spends 1.5 million a year on his body. LeBron has a rule that he religiously follows, and that rule is that you keep the number one thing the number one thing. Translated, this means that basketball, which has been his primary source of income and a catalyst for all the other revenue flows, always remains the number one thing during his playing days. LeBron understands that basketball is the driving force for most of his other ventures, and that his success off the court is closely tied to his success in the NBA, as nobody wants to buy basketball shoes from an unsuccessful player. And even after his three rings, Facts, gonna be real, dog. LeBron, dog. I bought some of your shoes, dog. Man, bro, some of them things feel like Legos on my shoes, bro. Like straight cinder blocks. But I'm about to support you, man. Help you pay your bills. See how that work? And a thick resume that transcends basketball, LeBron is still going strong in his 17th year with no sign of slowing down. If you're wondering how that's possible, it's because he never stops training and spends huge amounts of money to keep his body in the best possible shape. Yes, sir. He uses cryotherapy to decrease inflammation in his body and relieve muscle pain after hard training sessions. Apart from freezing himself to death, he also uses hyperbaric chambers to increase the amount of oxygen in his blood by simulating high altitude conditions, which results in better endurance and overall performance. This crazy, bro. His recovery regimen. Another modern gizmo is Normatec Leg Boot, which massages his lower extremities and keeps the muscles loose and warm, which benefits with aches and soreness. He also gets private treatments with liquid nitrogen to help reduce inflammation. Other than that, he employs a team of personal chefs, massage therapists, and trainers to keep him in tip-top shape. Like Dwayne Johnson, another <laughs> famous gym rat, LeBron has to pump iron everywhere he goes. Even if it's a yacht in the Mediterranean in the middle of the summer, the yacht has to be equipped with a gym because yes, LeBron sir. is addicted to working out. When he was filming Space Jam in the summer of 2019, he would spend up to 12 hours on the set, which is exhausting in itself. However, before every day of shooting, that would usually start around 7 a.m., LeBron would already practice, which means he would wake up around 4 a.m. every day. Now that's commitment. The GOAT! The Superman bat! LeBron's greatness is taken somewhat for granted because he won the genetic golden ticket and grew up into a 6'8 uber athlete that can jump out of the gym. However, there were many athletic guys in the NBA, but for him to still be basically playing the same level past the age of 35, 36, <clears throat> that's something else. So let's take a look at how he does it. LeBron James's workout routine. When we watch basketball games, we see the final product on the court, but everything that goes into it is what very few people understand. LeBron is one of the hardest and smartest workers in the NBA, 
and the fact that he hasn't suffered a severe injury is not an accident. It's crazy. Sure, there is some luck because freak injuries happen in basketball, but LeBron is doing everything he possibly can to decrease the chance for injury, and the results have been tremendous so far. The man that helped him along the way, and who is still his personal trainer and one of his closest associates, is a man named Mike Mancius. Mancius is one of the top personal trainers in the world, and he became to LeBron what Tim Grover was for Michael Jordan. Mancius began working for the Cavs in 2005, and LeBron asked for his advice when he was experiencing back tightness and knee soreness, which were big problems since James wasn't yet 22. Mancius then reconstructed his workout routine, and is a big reason why LeBron was injury-free for the majority of his career. Man, thank you. Thank you. We need more people like you, man. Stias now has LeBron on a tight weekly schedule that includes weightlifting up to three times per week, plyometric work, or cardio on the Versa Climber several times per week, and some form of yoga and stretching before and after every session. Of course, that doesn't include actual basketball training and around 100 basketball games he plays every year. Yoga and stretching is something James learned out of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's book and then took it to a completely different level. Kareem swore by yoga and said that it's only because of it that he was able to keep playing at the age of 40 and still be productive. But LeBron suffered a first serious injury in the 2015 season. Yeah, but that ring healed him up. The first year, uh, the first unanimous MVP went against... Um, the best, this is the best uh, regular season team ever in the NBA history with the first unanimous, unanimous MVP uh, going against LeBron James in the finals. Came back from the first ever 3 1. Greatest ring of all time, easily. He had an injured disc in his goal. back, and his mobility and explosiveness took a significant hit. Worried, LeBron reached out for help and got it from Donnie Raymond, a former Navy SEAL specializing in biomechanics and human movement. Raymond's expertise combines biology and physical mechanics, and he helped James to massively improve his core strength, posture, and get rid of all the back pain. LeBron also transformed crazy, the way he bro. lands on the floor to preserve his joints. If you look at how he maneuvers landings after dunks, He's like a gazelle, just softly touching the ground after does, a big jump. It looks jump, so which easy. Which goes a long way for knee and ankle durability. When it comes to optimizing performance, LeBron kept no stone unturned and was not shy to ask for help. Because of all the work on his biomechanics, mobility, and state-of-the-art recovery systems, he's still at the top of the basketball world. To be the king, you have to think like a king and train like a king. And if you really want to know the full details of LeBron's workout, watch this one-hour uncut video of his training with Mancius on YouTube. LeBron James's new man to watch that man to watch that the video in nutrition. Like with training and recovery, James also invests a lot in nutrition to replenish his body with the right fuel so he can perform at the optimal level. He eats about five times a day, a traditional breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a couple of snacks in between. James starts off the day with an egg white omelet with French toast. I did his diet or a already. Turkey sandwich yes, sir. With avocados or a yogurt with some fruit. If he feels frisky enough, he even goes for some Fruity Pebbles, his favorite cereal. After practice, he eats a snack that is either protein shake with some almond or peanut butter or some more fruit. Before the game, LeBron usually eats a light lunch that involves lean proteins, leafy greens, and complex carbs. His most common choices are chicken breast and some pasta, or a veggie salad with some fruits. During the game, he might go an energy bar or even peanut butter and jelly sandwich to keep him energized for the remainder of the game. After the game, LeBron's glycogen levels are depleted, and he is conscious of hydrating a lot after he burns a lot of energy. He religiously drinks a protein recovery shake and carbohydrate-rich recovery fluids, which are both provided by Mancius. James ramps up on the carbs in the playoffs because of greater energy expenditure, and he stays off sugar because it slows down the recovery process after games. Y'all gotta listen to this, bro. Y'all wanna stay in the game for a long time, baby. For the same reason, he doesn't eat a lot of red meat, and he completely removed pork from his menu. He's more likely to indulge in sweets in the off-season, except for in 2014, where he temporarily went paleo and ate nothing but meats, fruits, and veggies for two months. Shit, that's what I do right now. And last but not least, Ron is a very known wine aficionado and likes to drink quality vino after dinner. Apart from great taste, it helps him to fall asleep easier. To de-stimulate his brain, LeBron also uses the Calm Meditation app to shut off his mind and focus on the next day's action. LeBron's longevity records. 
If he keeps this pace and stays lucky with injuries, LeBron could break all kinds of records. Of course, the which he already broke a lot of. Focus is on the all-time scoring list, where James is currently third behind Kareem and Karl Malone. If he keeps playing into his 40s, he might amass well over 40,000 points and comfortably break Jabbar's record of 38,387. LeBron is also likely to be one of seven NBA players who have over 10,000 assists, joining Stockton, beautiful. Kidd, just, Nash, just, just, Magic, and Mark just Jackson, so and probably man. Chris Paul. James is already in the top 10 of all time the in the regular bro. season when it comes to minutes played to and be the alive. first in playoff minutes played. By the time it's all said and done, LBJ will likely be the player who played most basketball ever. Apart from his tremendous God-given talent, LeBron has an incredible work ethic and has made smart choices that keep him at the top for 17 years and counting. LeBron is already one of the most durable athletes, and once you learn about his habits, it's easy to see why. With a little bit of luck, he could become the most durable athlete ever and further advance his case for the GOAT status in basketball. There's no case. We already know what time it is, bro. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. We out of here. Shout out to non-stop uh, sports, man. Love the channel, bro. Goodbye!